I'm Barbara Roberts. I was governor of Oregon in the 1990s. At that time, special interests were already part of the lawmaking process. However, these days, thanks to the overreaching of the U.S. Supreme Court, any limitations on money and political influence are gone. Corporations and the very rich are threatening to eliminate the role of ordinary Americans in the governing of our nation. With the devastating impact of the court's decisions, critical issues such as climate change, pay equity, criminal justice reform, gun violence, and immigration policy remain unaddressed, buried under the opposition dollars and huge corporate influence. The openness and fairness demanded by our political process can be restored if we stand together to reject a system of money first. We must attack this problem at its root. That means an amendment to our U.S. Constitution. We need to say corporations are not people and money is not speech. The language of this proposed amendment is forthright and unambiguous. An effort launched by Move to Amend presents it clearly. A 28th constitutional amendment. Corporations are not people and money is not speech.